Just take me Broken and down You found me Wandering around You took my hand Before I knew your name And it was like Y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Bethany. I am a stay-at-home mama to two beautiful babies under two. Here on my channel, you find lots of cleaning motivation, lifestyle videos, as well as your occasional mobile home update. In today's video, I'm showing you a Dollar Tree haul. I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up a couple of these aluminum tins. I am making dinner for, for a family member who um, had lost her husband, which is unfortunate, but I wanted to be kind and bring her dinner, so I picked those up. I also found these really cute bins right here for organizing. Um, I think I'm gonna put them in one of my kitchen drawers to reorganize that. I also got some aluminum foil because we were all out and we were needing some. I found this Glade pop-up air freshener, so I think I'm going to put that underneath my kitchen counter, or kitchen cabinet, sorry. And then I found these mini teddies, which I'm assuming they're like teddy grams, but there is six of these one ounce packages in this box, and I figured it would be a fun snack for my daughter. I also found two of these um, like glass mason jars. I thought I could do something with these with some baking powder and cornstarch and then I got an air freshener for the car. Um, I'm really excited to use these jars and see what I can do with them so you'll have to stay tuned for that. And here I'm taking my baking powder and my cornstarch and I'm going to fill these jars up with both of those items. Um, I'm trying to get more like mason jar type style organizers for things um, like the baking powder, the flour, sugar, um, miscellaneous noodles and things like that um, just to make the pantry look a little bit nicer rather than having things in boxes. So I'm going to put the cornstarch and the baking powder in these two jars and I know it's just going to look so much nicer. Leave me a comment letting me know, do you like your pantry organized or do you just kind of throw things in there and not really care or do you like things in separate containers like this? Raindrop on the black top, hot stuff, feeling like a robot. Swipe left, scroll down, same chick, but you're living in a new town. So I made bit of a mess on the counter but that is okay because that's going to happen in tasks like this. But I found these chalk stickers that came with some of my glass spray bottles that I had bought from Amazon and I thought they would be really cute on these little mason jars just to label what they are. So on the cornstarch I, I put cornstarch and then the date that it expires and then I put the baking powder and the date that expired. Um, and I also went to the grocery store the other day and I had a $20 off coupon of anything in the store. So I saw these cereal containers and I thought I would pick up two of them and just see how well they work for us. Um, so I washed these out and they're all clean now, but I'm going to pour my cereal in these just to make the cereal more organized in the pantry as well. I don't mind having boxes in there for certain items, but... I have always just dreamed of having um, containers for my cereal. I don't know why, it's probably kind of weird, but I thought that I would get these and try them out and I really like the way it looks. So I'm probably going to pick up some more when I am able to and just try to make my pantry a little bit more appealing when you go in there. You're not just looking at a whole bunch of different colored boxes and trying to figure out what you want. You can just see through everything and see what exactly we have. So this is what they look like in the pantry. You can see I need another one for the Reese's Puffs there. But now I'm going to move on to this utensil drawer. It has some organizing bins in it, but it's just not super functional and I, it's been like this for like the last five years. Um, so the little trays that I got from Dollar Tree that I'm showing you here, I'm going to use these in here and see if I can't organize this in a better fashion. That way there's nothing off to the side, everything is just in bins and we can see exactly what we have because some of these utensils will slide underneath the other bins and it just gets lost. So I'm going to work on transforming the space and just seeing what I can do with it. Someone's 
When taking everything out of here, it had a few crumbs at the bottom and just some dirt, so I am going to vacuum all this up and then wipe it out. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you like videos like this, um, please be sure to leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you if you like cleaning and organizing. I know I do a lot of cleaning on here, but I haven't done as much organizing, and I really love to organize spaces, so I would love to hear from you if that is something you are interested in seeing more of. So now I'm just going to take my 7th generation all-purpose cleaner, just going to wipe out this drawer and then get to putting the bins in and seeing how functional I can make this. And the after looks so much better to me. There is nothing sliding around on the sides of it. I got miscellaneous stuff in the back that we don't reach for every day. And then the stuff up front is the stuff we use, we use most often. It definitely looks so much better. And I think that we're going to be able to keep this a lot more organized. And it was really nice because I did that for only $1. But now we have to clean the living room. We have toys everywhere. My kids have just been having a fun day playing and enjoying their toys and so it's okay that it's a mess but I'm going to clean this up now that they're down for a nap and just get the living room nice and tidy. Also going to take a minute here and clean my fireplace and my TV stand. They were getting quite dusty again, so it was time that I did all of this. And I figure while my kids are napping, I'm going to try and do as much as I possibly can. I would love to hear from y'all. What are you doing while you're watching this video? Once I was done dusting the TV stand and fireplace, I'm going to start my diffuser. So I am just putting water in there and then I'm going to use lavender and eucalyptus today. I don't know why but this combo was just speaking to me so I'm going to do some eucalyptus and lavender and just enjoy that relaxing scent.
And now I have the kitchen to work on. I got some dishes that need to be done and hand washed and I would like to clean off the counters as well. So I am going to work on that now. I hope today's video is giving you guys lots of motivation to clean a space in your home. I would love to hear if you are going to organize anything in your home or what you guys are doing. I hope the weather is great where you are and I hope that you all are doing well. Loving only you oh, Every imperfection, every scar Not a thing could change the person you and a family I'll still hold on to your hand I'll still look you in the eyes like the first time do y'all have any plans for the 4th of July? Are you watching fireworks? Do you set fireworks off at your home? Do you have a cookout? Or what do you guys do? I would love to hear from you. Usually we have a cookout with our family and then either at a family member's house we might do some small fireworks. But this year we might end up taking the kids to some fireworks. I don't know if our son would like it but I think our daughter would. So I am interested to see how the kids will do around the fireworks. Last year, my daughter thought they were so cool when we set them off at um, a family member's house. We just set off some small ones and had a nice cookout. So we might do that again this year, but we don't have any set traditions. But I would love to hear what you guys do for the holiday weekend. person you are my lover baby you'll always be perfect to me oh. every conversation is in your heart not a word could ever tear us apart my lover baby Curves your scent, your eyes. I'm making it hard to get to know you. Cause you fill the silence with the language of my heart. So we never get to talk things over. Oh, but something you said in the dark illuminated your heart. And just like that, the whole thing changed. dishes were done I'm going to take a moment and wipe out the sink as well. I love a clean sink and this was after lunch so I knew it was going to stay clean at least until dinner. I definitely wanted to just take some time and wipe this out and get it sparkling. I wonder if y'all knew 
little man has fully synthesized The drugs you were laid pretty simple Oh baby, oh But something you said in the dark Illuminated your heart And just like that the whole thing changed Something I saw in your car Showed me the person you are And set the monster free from its cage So when I say that I'm happy for you, babe I'm just happy that we went our separate ways And when I say that I'm thinking of you, babe I just wonder if you learn from your mistakes When all your friends tell me that you're doing great What the hell do you expect for me to say? So when I say After lunch, the table was just a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to take some time and wipe this down as well, just to make sure this is nice and clean before dinner. Having two young kids, sometimes things just get stuck to the table, but that is totally appropriate and acceptable. They're not going to stay young forever, so I will miss these sticky moments on the table when they no longer make those. And now I'm just going to wipe down my counters and take care of these dishes that I have air drying here just so that way the kitchen is all tidied and I can relax for the rest of the day. It's sunny up but it just comes in waves When you ask me if I'm okay I don't have a lot to say Can't tell you something I do not know It's about 2 o'clock now and I'm finally getting around to making my bed. I've been busy with the kids all morning and trying to clean and organize. So I am just now getting around to my bed, but hey, it's better than not getting to it at all. I do like getting into a nice made bed at night and it only takes me just a few minutes to get this done. So I'm going to do this now. I hope that you guys are enjoying today's video. I appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and supports. You all mean the world to me. Now all my spaces are clean, my bed is made, and the house is clean. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave it a big thumbs up if you did. I appreciate you all so much, and I will see you in my next one. I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.